Do I look pretty bad? Gorgeous. How's everything going? So I just wanted to get on here real quick in between my meetings and let y'all know something. Let y'all know another little secret because I'm getting some more messages talking about people's love lives and I don't know who didn't tell y'all, but you can't trust nobody, no man, no woman. You can't trust nobody under the age of 30, even possibly 35. Do not trust nobody with your heart, with your love. They're not ready. I don't care who says they are. I don't care who comes and pretends they are. I don't care if they bring roses and flowers every day. I don't care if they the pastor's son. I don't care. You should not care. You ladies need to be a little bit harder on these men. We was a little bit harder on them than y'all. And you guys have so much competition out there. I mean, these girls are talking backwards and forwards and they showing they stuff like off the rip. You know, some of us ain't got some of these, some of us ain't got much of that, but these girls is buying it and they wearing it out like it's, you know, Fendi or Louie. And that's a lot of pressure and a lot of competition on these young men. Stop blaming them. Stop trusting them. I've been teaching my sons since they was yay high. Don't, you don't got to lie for no booty. You do not have to lie to these young ladies. You tell them the truth. They want to give it to you. That's on them. At least you told the truth. Some of these people is not going to come say, you know, I'm not ready for no relationship. I just want to kick it. Maybe I want to have a few kids right now, but I don't really want to be with you later. I'll, I'll decide when I'm ready. Everybody has a right to decide when, how, and what they want to do. The only thing that we have a right to is what we decide to do with them. So stop listening to all these people talking about, oh, he ain't good enough for her or she ain't good enough for him or he hurting her and he hurt. No, we getting in these relationships knowing what's going on. You know exactly what's going on. You know, if he got two, three kids, he going to be doubling over there. You playing dumb. We playing dumb. Stop. Don't do that. It's not cute. I don't feel sorry for nobody. You know why I don't? Because I tells the truth. I know they not ready. You know they not ready. You think because you can make with your knees and real good, that's going to make them ready? That don't make nobody ready. Consistency, loyalty, when they get ready to make that decision, if you still around and you still down, that's what they going to do. It's been That's the way it's been since biblical days. It's not going to change. It ain't going to change because you buy a BBL. It ain't going to ch change because your knees is strong like Meg's. You guys have it so much tougher than we do. And y'all can all sit out here and say, oh, I want to be this independent woman, you know, and make all this money and do all this stuff and be by myself when I get old. No, you don't. And don't sit there and let nobody try to pump you with that base because that's a lie. Okay. Even Oprah out here still paying for it. OK, so let's let's try to use our common sense and stop acting weird. Oh, he, he, he that ain't love. He ain't giving you real love. He don't know what real love is. He's 25 years old. And I'm it, it really hurts my heart to hear grown women out here still chasing love. Tama, he don't love her. That ain't real love. 25-year-olds and 22-year-olds don't know what real love is. I just barely learned it with this husband. This is my third time, okay? So some of us are slower than others, and some of, and you, you need to be honest with yourself. You know the situation when you're getting into it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Now... 25 year olds don't even wipe good yet. We've, we've witnessed that, all right? They don't wipe good yet. They're not ready. They haven't learned themselves. They don't even know how wipe front to back yet. It's just it's a learning process. So if you put yourself out there at 25 years old with a 25 year old man that you slightly know ain't ready, you have to deal with those consequences until they're ready. And if you love them, you may be able to sit through that. 
Some of y'all have sat through that. I understand that sitting through that. I understand, you know, Libra women, they have them type of patience. Now us Leo women, we get out here and get it done. We don't, we don't sit too long like that. It's just what it is. My Virgo side may sit, but my Leo side, we, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it happen myself. But trust and believe. Don't none of y'all want to be 50 and alone, 70 and alone. Drake done already gave y'all the, the gift. Like, don't nobody want to be sitting there by themselves. So don't use up all your love and all your energy and all your time at 25. Get out here and get to the bag. Stop worrying about this and that and this and that. Don't worry about that. That's going to come. Okay? My husband had his eye on me for damn near 20 years, but he didn't come because he was not ready. He was doing a whole lot of this and a whole lot of that. So somebody got their eye on you right now. And he's watching your movements right now, but he's not going to approach you until he knows he's ready because he knows your qualities. Okay? But if you sit here running around trying to be Krishan and Blue, trying to be Jaden and Blue, trying to find love at 25, you're going to be looking just like them. Okay? I'm going to always tell y'all the truth. You are too young to be looking for anything like that. And you're wasting a whole lot of your good years. Put all of that time into something that you value. Something that you see yourself doing. If you don't see yourself doing nothing yet and your parents haven't put a dream in your heart yet. Baby, you need to be somewhere on your knees talking to God trying to find your worth. And, your, and, and what it is that you should be doing out here. Because he's looking at that too. The love of your life is not fixing to just pick you because you got Meg needs. <laughs>